on the stress bus, I have a couple more, pretty much the same setup, but a little bit of different settings. For instance, I'm doing a higher roll off of the low frequencies right here. Now, you're, some of you are probably saying, well, if you're already low, rolling off the low frequencies there with that high pass filter, then why are you doing it here? It's because that's what I chose to do. Real nice, crisp sound that I got with it. You don't have to. Some people would say it's excessive, but. I don't have to. I could just go like that right there and just leave this roll off right here. But I rolled off more of the bottom end on these because they're the stress vocals. Wanted them to sound kind of thin. I'm using the, the compressor here, but it's in RMS mode. And you can see the attack and release that I got set for that. And I was getting about seven decibels of gain reduction here. And I'm using the same thing, but not as much of the the warp slider here. And then I'm using a deesser set like that, basically the same as the other one. And then I have this setting on the EQ. But then at the end I have the Blue Tubes Nomad Factory limiter here. And let's see what's happening. So basically I'm just coming in on certain parts and you can see how much reduction I was getting there. You can omit that, it's just that I, when it comes to the stress overdubs, you got to really compress those pretty hard. You don't have to, it's not a rule of thumb, but I found that I had to in this situation to bring them more forward in the mix, to make them evident, more evident. And you can push them back and make them pretty much you know, subliminal if you wanted to. And you can see that all these vocals are turned down a little bit less. You can see where these are negative 10, and but I wouldn't even don't even mind those because for my gain staging and all that stuff that I was doing for this track, that was what I chose. So don't go try and emulate these track settings you see here. I wouldn't emulate pretty much anything, but you can see I'm using the compressor, then the deesser, and the you know EQ. I could do it multiple two. You know I could have put the compressor, the EQ, and then the de -esser. But in this instance, I chose to do it like that. And then you can see the sends down here is basically how much reverb I'm sending with the same routing scheme that we had over here. So as you can see, it's nothing really high tech. And then I can control all the vocal levels. Sitting at home with nothing to do, could have spent time with your family. You tell her another day she was sad and she don't have a smile upon her face. She puts her head down as she walks away. I'm not going to end it because this is a slow computer, like I said, and if I enable everything so you can hear all the effects. Like I said, if you want to hear the track, go to MySpace, my MySpace page. Because this, this computer is another reason why I updated my computer was because this one's really slow and I can't run my tutorial and run everything all at the same time like I can with my other computer. And you can see my stresses are getting just a touch more reverb. A little bit more reverb right there. And that's all there is to it, man. Let's jump over here to the outro. All right, now we have an outro here, and I'll solo the outro. Everybody here's for all my soldiers out there, for their family, for their children, their friends. This is for all my soldiers that ain't coming back home, the ones that made the greatest sacrifice. We miss y'all. We reminisce. We talk. Now the outro is basically, I have no effects going to it. Well, I do because they're on the lead and overdub bus, so the compression is controlled via the lead and overdub bus for both these tracks here for the whole entire outro. But there's an effect on there. You may hear it. It's a chorus effect. It's basically a Bluetooth 
analog chorus type effect sound. And I unfortunately do not have that installed onto this computer. It's on my other one. And it is basically from the Blue Tubes effects bundle. It's their chorus effect. And since it's just, you know, I didn't overdub it or anything, it adds a nice, you know, chorus effect sound to it, a nice thick sound. So that's what I chose for this. And that's all I did to it. But in order to process it, I didn't throw it on any tracks or any buses. I just double clicked it, select all, right clicked. I went to plugins, which you see down right below process. You could also do other processes. I could do all these. I could also go put a plugin on here, actually. And affect it with that plugin, and then hit OK, and then it will then have that effect. So that's what I did. If you remember me talking about offline processing, the reason for this and the, is because my computer, as you know, this computer here is not very fast and not very doesn't have that much processing power, low on RAM, you know, two gigabytes of RAM. So it is not sometimes in order to get certain effects you're going to have to do this process offline but you have you're going to bite yourself in the ass because there's no way to get rid of it however there is a revert function and sonar has versioning where you can save different versions but once you save it it's there unless you can go back on to a previous save session you could actually save this whole entire session into a whole new folder before you actually do something like that so what i could do is i could file save project to a new folder it'll save all the audio files and everything to a new folder that I name or put somewhere and then I can start you know right click double clicking and start doing all kinds of shit to it you know doing all kinds of effects you know beat outs and shit you know but actual real effects but I'm not going to show you the plugins and stuff like that because that's up to you what plugins you're going to use and that's what I did here and it's real simple so actually you hear there's a little delay on the end there that's because I actually double clicked it and I added the delay but they know why they live in it it's called freedom And that's it. That's the trek, man. That's how I did it.